Woo! Okay. Eight hours and 45 minutes away from my hotel. And I'm driving. Right past the casino called Talking Talking Stick, where Tool is playing on Friday, and I'm heading my heading up to Colorado to pick up my daughter because I got this was her Christmas present. So her and I are going to Tool. But I got this long drive ahead of me, and of course, my my brain is just constantly going. I don't know what to say. But I'm driving 80 miles an hour. I'm getting past pretty consistently. But I'm also passing consistently too, so you know it's 80 is like the average speed. So I'm in the fast lane, nobody's pushing me, and I'm not pushing anybody. It's great. I glance over to my right and this girl's got her phone like tick tick. And she she's doing 80 miles an hour, bro. That's I'm thinking to myself, put your phone in a rack, man. And then I'm thinking, oh, here's the here's the, Here's the problem. I figured it out. I figured nothing out. But for me, what makes sense for me that allows me to let it go. Okay, so I was raised to calculate worst case scenario and act from that position. The youth today is calculating from the best case scenario and acting from there. So when the best case scenario disappears and becomes the worst case scenario, they haven't even imagined it. They haven't even thought about it. So when it hits them, oh my God, tragedy hits these people pretty hard. I remember, um, tragedy hits anybody at any moment, it's not, you know what I'm saying, it's just, I'm talking about probabilities and reducing them. Mike Cottrell's good, was, we were pretty close at one point in time. We used to go to the wedge together with his dad body surf these giant fucking waves and he's out there boogie boarding these 20 footers bro I'm like what the fuck Oof. but uh, he doesn't really wear safety gear when he's skateboarding and I remember talking to him about that one time and it made a lot of sense to me and uh, this is when we were young bro made a lot of sense to me in a nutshell he was saying you got to learn how to fall and if you don't learn how to fall when you do fall you're gonna break some shit so taking away the safety net of padding and gear caused you to focus on how to fall without getting hurt and I fully agree I mean and then, but I still, I would, if I'm skateboarding, I'm still wearing a fucking helmet. I'm telling you right now. <coughs> but um, the, that same thing applies to how the youth today is calculating their movements. They're calculating the movements from best case scenario. Not even considering worst case scenario because considering worst case scenario in today's society is negative, pessimistic. Whereas, when I was growing up, it was being realistic. 
preparing for the worst, hoping for the best. They got it all flip-flop now. It's creating such a division from all other generations from them. It's, a, it's creating a huge gap. I hope my children and I don't fall in the gap. <laughs>